Okay, let's um, let's get our impact driver here. Huh, interesting. Okay, so do we left click or right click? There we go. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is Alpha 19 Build 163, and we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we have a hell of a fun time doing it. Okay, so uh, this is our next quest here. Um, it is uh, one of the burnt houses, uh, Tier 2. I believe I have uh, done this one before, too, because I think there's like a burner that sits up in the attic there. Um, and so let's go ahead and do a double loot on it first, and uh, then we'll start the quest for realsies. It is also Horde Day uh, 21, as you can see, and so um, probably after this episode, the next one we will uh, we will actually do uh, the Horde 21. And if we, if there's a little bit of time in between, then I'll uh, maybe just go do some more mining or something. Let's get this stuff out of the way here. Make sure everything's loaded. This game has a knack for catching you unawares with reloading your weapons. Oh, I don't need to cut that. <laughs> oh, shit, there's another one. I heard another one. Where is he? That might be somebody downstairs or maybe just a wandering Zika Ruski. Okay, well, let's not worry about him. I do want to get this out of the way, because if I accidentally step on it, it'll catch me on fire, or could catch me on fire. And uh, we don't want that to happen. All right, there's another Zika Ruski there. Let's see if we can uh, just pop his head. There we go. All right, and then there's a dude that waits to pounce on your head if you are not familiar with this right there. Say good night, Gracie. That didn't kill him. That did. All right, so we still don't have any more um, Uzuma calls. You know what, though? It's a new day. I should have checked the vending machine uh, for, what are they called? Uh, eye candy. That's the one that gives you the bonus on the loot. So we got a crutch there. We got some ammo here. Oh, nice. And we got the advanced uh, mufflers. Okay. Uh, Cornmeal is good because we can use that for corn dogs and for fish tacos. So we want to hang on to that. Particularly since I haven't even found any corn. I, I, I mentioned this a few episodes ago. I have seen it around, but I don't remember where it is. I haven't run across it. Uh, all right. Let's try the fat loots. Pipe bombs, yeah, okay. Nothing super crazy, but not bad stuff either. All right, where's this Zombo at that's making all this racket? There you are. Hold still. friend the biker we might as well kill these guys and get the XP waiting for somebody to come up the stairs here Is that Zombaruski outside, or where is he? Hmm. Might as well see what's in here. Oh, crap. Doggone it. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> it's too bad. It's too bad that it doesn't drop a backpack when you accidentally destroy stuff like that, you know? But it doesn't.
Okay, we're ready to start for realsies. This is a clear quest, so we don't have to get a satchel. We just have to blow up all the Zeekers. Um, you know, what the hell? We already took a little bit of coal earlier, so we'll probably grab a little more from breaking those, uh, you know, those uh, fire pit thingamadoodles, and then we can use that for gunpowder. Um, yeah, let's just eat this, and we'll counter the effect with the uh, yucca there, and then we should be good. All right, let's hit the kitchen again. More cornmeal, good deal. Nice. Anybody in here? Guess not. Oh, uh, about the running shoes. Okay, so we already looted that, right? Is there anything up here? Okay, we got a couple bookcases. Oh yeah, look at that, baby! Woo! <laughs> All right, that's a nice find. Um, what does it require to uh, to make that impact driver? 24 forged steel, and I, I think I have seven motor tool parts already. Uh, the rest of it's not a big deal, of course, because uh, we've been getting these. So hopefully we have seven. Um, I can just go around and rinse some lamp posts. Um, there's another junkyard across the way that has the uh, the transformers on the ground that will give steel. So we could probably, you know, just scavenge up enough steel to take care of that. But uh, that was a nice find. Um Probably salvage operations is what affects the quality, and I am planning on putting some more points into salvage operations, so it might not be a bad idea to do that. You know, maybe get another point or two in there before I make this. Uh, I'm, I'm stoked, though, man. I'm, I, I really want to try that. I haven't even tried it on multiplayer yet. All right, what do we have here? Targets within three meters have a high dismemberment chance for shotties. Oh, yeah. I'll take that for sure. And in here we have... The sledge turret. Oh, cool. Okay. Very cool. We'll have to try that out at some point. That was some good stuff, man. Really good stuff. Uh, we'll take that. Don't care about the sledgehammer. Oh, man. I'm so stuck that we found that, that uh, impact driver. Really cool. That's barely cell worthy. We could even maybe keep it for desert garb. At some point, we're going to have to find a desert so we can start getting oil shale. All right, I guess that's all we can do in this room, but that was some pretty good stuff. I should have checked that room when we were double looting, but I forgot about it, so... That's... Mm, nah, you know what? It's that's not that's not worth it. I mean, it might be, but I'm not gonna mess with it.
Okay, so what I want to do here is I want to make sure those doors are repaired. And let's uh, deal with you first. Is there anybody in here? Doesn't look like it. All right, we got another point. Oh, another, another bookcase. All right, what do we have? Um, reduced chance to be lit on fire by 25%. Yep. I'll take that. Because who likes to be lit on fire, man? Not me. I don't know about y'all, but not me. $52 make you holla. Okay. Um, those are not going to be as good as our BDUs. In fact, it looks like they're I, they're, they're exactly the same uh, based upon what I'm seeing. We already have a leather duster back at the base, but I'll take that one back and compare them and see if that one's any better. And then we'll just either sell or scrap the other one. That might be... No, we've got a puffer coat. Yeah, we have a puffer coat back at the base, so I'm going to... Um, whoops, I hit the wrong thing, didn't I? Uh, I'm going to just scrap that. Anything else in here to loot? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so we know we're going to have a Zikaru around there. Any chance we can get a sneaky sneak off on him? I can't really see behind there. We could try a pipe bomb, just for funsies. Ooh, <laughs> I don't know, that's kind of a narrow, if I don't get that through there. Ah, nah, you know what, let's not waste a pipe bomb. We'll save those for uh, Horde Knight. <laughs> let's get rid of that. Uh, let's get rid of that and put this back on the toolbar. It didn't wake him up, huh? No way to get to that guy either. Didn't wake him up. Okay. Let's get the coal in the wood. And that's it. Return to Trader. Okay, let's see what we got for fat loots. We're, we're collecting steel club parts, so at some point we might be able to actually make those. You know, it occurred to me, too, in the last episode, in Alpha 18 and, and earlier, we used to just save these so we could eat them so that we could, then we could eat, like, you know, the moldy sandwiches. But you need these now to remove the fatigue. So I think I'm going to start hanging on to those and not just burning them uh, just to eat moldy sandwiches. Because, I mean, we got plenty of other food anyway, so it's not really that necessary. All right, let's look at the good stuff. Oh, look at that. 
Okay. That, uh, that's going to definitely uh, make me rethink maybe doing archery right uh, right now. Uh, that's a very nice bow. Plus, it'll have three mod slots. Um, yeah, Fortify and Grip Mod. Okay, that's pretty cool, too. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. we got to make room for three things. That's worth 55. That's worth 55. We can get rid of the jars. We can drink this. And honestly, two pieces of paper aren't going to break the bank there. Excellent. Okay, let's go uh, do our turn-ins and see what we get. All right, guys, let's uh, grab the uh, stuff out of here, too. And we'll go see if we can sell uh, that stuff to Trader Jen. If not, we'll go bring it to Trader Hugh. And do I have... Um, yeah, I've got sugar butts there. That lasts for five minutes. Do I have two of those? Oh, yeah, I've got a bunch of those. Okay. Just in case, I'll, I'll try and time it so we can eat one and hit both traders, but in case I don't make it uh, to Trader Hugh, by the time that runs out, you know, we'll have another one. So, yeah, it's 1044 in the morning, so I think what we'll do, guys, is we'll we'll do these two turn-ins, and then I'm probably just going to spend the rest of, the, of day 21 during the day off camera uh, doing some mining and stuff like that uh, because I don't think we're gonna safely have enough time what are you buying today to <laughs> uh, to do another episode before uh, horde night all right so let's talk well, to her that didn't take long nice work um she offered us a hunting rifle last time oh by the way I decided to keep the yellow rifle because of the fact that it had the extra mod slot even though that other one was just a little bit better so that's a 76 range damage yeah uh, so we got an iron helmet. She keeps giving me those damn spare magazines. I don't care about those. <laughs> uh, this helmet is n not really... We got a blue football helmet on with multiple slots. So I don't think I want that either. So this is really just going to be more a matter of what can I sell for the most money, which is going to be... These two are exactly the same. So I guess we'll just take the rifle. Um... Okay, so let's take the next job from her. Uh, fetch and clears are always the best. That would take us to down back down to the south. Uh, or this one would take us to the west. It would help us to unlock some more territory. Um, yeah, maybe we'll take that I've one. I've got a job or two. But we this won't do that until work, after Horde Night, of course. I believe you can handle it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to... Make sure everything we're going to sell here is repaired. It looks like it is. And let's pop the sugar butts. We also have the uh, the cigar, too, right here. So that's gonna, that gives us the 10% uh, uh, bartering there. And we're just going to sell all this stuff to her. Okay. Cool. So that gave us um, uh, almost seven thousand coin. Now well, actually, we had deal. some with us already, so that's not. Trust me. That's not what we I'm actually need. Okay, so she's still the same inventory. Yeah, uh, she is. Okay. Pills might have what you were looking for. All right, let's run uh, over to Trader Hugh and see if we can get to him before our sugar sugar buff thing wears off. Oh, is that a ten minute? I guess that's ten minutes. Okay, I thought it was a five, so that's that's better. I forgot I had a few things in there uh, to sell, too, so we'll just sell those to Hugh here. You smell of the day. Well, you did. Uh, okay. So I suppose you want to be paid. Well, there's a robotic sledge. Um, let's take it. Let's take it. All right. Inventory. Let's sell you this other stuff. Sounds like we have a wandering horde coming through or something. And that brings us up to 8771 coin. Have we looked at your inventory this time around? I think we have. Steel chest armor would give us 2% more crit, but we'd lose two mod slots. Yeah, I think we already did look at this. I'm pretty sure that we did. We learned the schematic for the motorcycle handlebars. What's this do? Craft robotic turret shells. Okay, I'm not really worried about that right now. Got an extender mod, a grave digger mod. Uh, you know what? I'm going to buy that for our shovel. 
And I think that's... You know what? Let's... We have one of these on one of our weapons. I can't remember which one it is. It's this one. Okay. I think I'm going to buy this um, so that we can put it on our pistol for Horde Knight. Because I'm going to take the silencer off the pistol. There's no point in having that on uh, during the Horde Knight. And if we wanted to spend money on steel, um, we needed... How much did we need? I think it was 25 for this. Or 24. How much would it cost us, while we still have our buff here, to buy all of that? It would only cost us 1,280 coin. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's do that. I have a little bit of steel back at the base, too. And I didn't even bother to check to see if Trader Jen had some steel, so we could go back and look at hers, too, and see if she has Good any. Good luck with that. And uh, let's go ahead and take a job from you. You've got a fetch and buried supply, so we're gonna do we're gonna do the fetch. Fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna run back to Trader Gin and see if I can get back there before my my sugar butts buff wears off, and see if she has any uh, steel that we can buy. Man, you know what? There's five lamp posts right here. Um, yeah, let's. Uh, <clears throat> I'll tell you what. Let's uh, see if we can get the rest of the steel just from these lamp posts. There's one over by Shadi Messiah too. So we uh, came out of that with 25 steel, plus I think I have like two or three more ingots back at the base. Um, so that means we can now make our impact driver. I think I'm going to go ahead and make it, guys, as an orange one, just because I want to try it out, A, and B, it's probably going to be better than, you know, than our green wrench anyway, and uh, it won't require any stamina for us to use it. Uh, so that way I can just go to town on uh, wrenching cars and I you know I still have the hackers candy which gives me the buff on that so let's head back to the base and whoop this thing up and check it out okay here we go impact driver um oh yeah motor tool parts yep I, I figured we ha we had enough of those let's do it All right, let's check this thing out. So let's do a, <clears throat> excuse me, a comparison between the two here. So this does 56 block damage and has 50 attacks per minute. This does 69 block damage and does 50 attacks per minute. Okay, so um, 56 and 69. So it's about 15 points uh, of block damage better. But then the nice thing about this though is here again, it's, it's not gonna, I'm not gonna use any stamina uh, with it. Uh, to use it so that's going to be cool um, and it'll, you know get us it'll allow us to go a little bit faster so I'm going to just go ahead and probably repair this and just sell it now that we have the impact wrench and we will get a pretty decent price for this because it's got the oh wait a minute what I can modify this now is that because I repaired it what in the world? If you guys have been watching the last few episodes, you know that I have not been able to modify this. Now all of a sudden I can. Because it used to say recipe down here. Interesting. Okay, well that's good because now I can get this back. I was going to, you know, take a loss for it. Well, actually we would have we would have made it back in coin because, you know, that brought this price down. 
Huh, that is really weird. So I wonder if it was, you know, the act of repairing that that changed it. Can you put this on here? And if I do, well, it, inc it increases the block damage. Um, there's not really any point in putting that on there, though, is there? What else could we put on there? Not really anything else. I do have on my axe... Uh, these things will it even let me put those on there the 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 point though I guess would be that it would in, if we put something on there, it would increase the block damage so does it matter that's 75 block damage that's 75 so it probably doesn't matter what we put on there okay well um I guess the weighted head mod is as good as anything else. I I don't want to put the ergonomic on there because I want want that on something I can actually take advantage of it. Um, fortify and Grithmod. When health is below 50% gain, one hit point every five seconds. Actually, that would make that would make more sense to put on the axe because you know if we're hurt a little bit and then we're using it to break a block or something, it'll help heal us at least up to 50%. Um, okay, so I already have an ergonomic on here, so what we'll do is we'll just hang on to this uh, for later. Because I don't want to, I only have one slot on my sledge and I want to keep the, the flame mod on there. Alright guys, let's go check this out and then we got to wrap up this episode. We'll just go see how it does. Find some cars to wrench. Okay, let's try it at the waterworks. I was thinking too, by the way, that I could use the the sledge robotic sledge in place of the normal but no way because this this is really weak sauce uh I, i'm sure it would be good if i specced into it and had a better quality one but if you compare it to the handheld i mean <laughs> no contest uh but we'll still try this out i mean it could be useful you know just as a as a stunning or distraction device okay let's um let's get our impact driver here Huh, interesting. Okay, so do we left click or right click? There we go. Wait a minute. That is using stamina. What? What? <laughs> Why the hell would that use stamina? That doesn't make sense. I mean, I'm sitting there and I'm holding a trigger. <laughs> That's all I'm physically doing. What the hell? Okay, well, that being the stupid ass case, then what we're gonna do <laughs> is we're gonna we're gonna put the ergonomic mod back on it. Oh jeez, I can't believe that that uses stamina. Come on, fun pimps. That's almost as stupid as you guys causing us to consume more food when we're riding in a vehicle. What the hell? <sighs> okay. Well, nevertheless, I'm happy to have this. It's really cool. Um, you know, because it's gonna it's gonna allow us to. Uh, uh, you know, go a little bit faster now. The bummer thing about it, though, is that one of the things that appealed about it to me is the fact that I thought it wouldn't require stamina, but I thought wrong, apparently. Man, I hope the auger doesn't require stamina, too. If it does, though, it would kind of make a little more sense that the auger would, because, you know, you've got to hang on to that machine, and it's it kind of like, you know, running a jackhammer, so... I'd be more okay with the auger causing stamina than the frickin' impact wrench. <sighs> anyway, whatever. All right, guys. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you did, consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. It doesn't take you any effort, it doesn't cost you anything, and it does help my channel. Uh, if you didn't like the episode, please consider leaving a constructive comment, and I promise I will consider your remarks. Thanks for watching, guys. Next episode is Hard Night 21. It's going to be awesome. We'll see you then. Bye.